Hello, everybody, and welcome. P10 Magazine is pleased to present this webinar, a diagnostic discussion with all data. I'm Sarah Scullin, Editor of Professional Tool and Equipment News, and I'm here today serving as your webinar moderator. During this webinar, the All Data team will discuss industry pain points that today's techs are up against, best practices in diagnostics, and All Data's own diagnostic solutions. Here to discuss these topics are Rich Deagle and Guy Simons. Rich Deagle is All Data's Tech Assist Team Supervisor with over 40 years of automotive repair experience. After four years as a crew chief in the U.S. Air Force, Deagle attended a two-year college and received his AA degree in automotive technology. Deagle worked at Nissan for 16 years before coming over to All Data in 1996 and again in 2013 to help develop the Tech Assist team and product. Guy Simons is a 25-year automotive industry veteran as well as an automotive diagnostic consultant and team lead. Before All Data, Simons worked in independent shops in Sacramento and the Bay Area. He was a lead instructor at WyoTech in Sacramento for nine years, teaching basic engine management systems and advanced diagnostics. As a California Bureau of Automotive Repair certified instructor, Simons also taught the California Smog license course. Now, without further ado, here's Rich Deagle to get things started. Let's talk about today's industry challenges. You know, manufacturers are introducing new technology at an alarming rate, which makes it really difficult for even the best technicians to keep up. Um, with the collision avoidance systems, for instance, there are several radar sensors, uh, modules, and front and rear cameras that all need to be diagnosed and repaired. Um, hybrid systems, uh, they have high and low voltage components that require different diagnostic strategies and proper safety procedures. So even with what would seem like a simple no-star diagnosis can become a, a problematic situation with complicated security systems on today's vehicles. So, you know, many technicians have spent a lot of their own time taking classes and researching uh, new technologies. And, um, you know, let's face it, uh, learning on the job takes valuable time. And it can really cut into a technician's productivity. So often, uh, the tech's going to be learning on the, a new system, uh, new components, whatever, on the, on the job while he's working on the vehicle. There's over 30 manufacturers in the automotive industry today, and the cost of subscribing to each one of those websites could be astronomical, uh, and each one is different. It's in a different format. So finding information you're looking for quickly, that's very time consuming. Um, the less time a technician has to spend locating repair information, uh, the more cars you can fix. So having information accessible in one easy to read format is really essential. Hey, it's no secret. All shop owners are telling us the same thing. Finding and retaining good technicians is getting more difficult and has left many, many service departments scrambling to find new talent. You know, the United States uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics says an average of 76,000 automotive technicians will be needed each year between 2016 and 2026, both to replace those retiring or leaving the industry and to fill some 46,000 projected new openings. So with more parents pushing their kids to go to college instead of going into the trades, you know, it's going to take time and uh, a concerted effort by everyone in the industry to turn this trend around. Next, we're going to talk about best practices for diagnosing vehicles. Making sure your technicians are properly trained on the newest systems uh, is a proactive way to be prepared to deal with customers' concerns. It's tough to expect technicians to be able to work on new cars and new systems they've never seen before. Okay, in today's repair shops, you must have at least one quality scan tool. And most shops have more than one, depending on which car lines they work on. And, an, and access to in-depth OE information is necessary. Technicians need this information along with factory TSBs and recalls to determine the root cause of a problem. They need to be able to clear and erase codes, view live data, and perform tests with a scan tool. Good diagnostics starts on the service drive. It's important that service writers ask all the right questions. Using an inspection sheet will help them ensure the technician has all the information needed to duplicate the exact conditions present when the problem occurred. That really speeds up the diagnostic process. Another thing, technicians often overlook the basics, like checking battery voltage or fluid levels. This can lead to misdiagnostics and waste of time. Sometimes getting help from another tech can be a lifesaver. If your best tech is stumped, who will he ask for help? 
having a diagnostic hotline available will install confidence that the most complicated problems will be solved. All data is the one-stop solution to the diagnostic and repair challenges faced by shops today. Not only does all data provide OE information, we have a professional level scan tool that's easy to use and links to valuable OE diagnostic information with the push of a button. It's called All Data Diagnostics. We also offer All Data Tech Assist. It's a leading technical hotline for independent shops. Let's talk a little bit about both. All Data Diagnostics turns your tablet into a professional scan tool. It's got great features like full system scans, pre and post scan reports for collision shops, bi-directional controls, and graphing PID data. It also integrates with all data's repair information. Selecting the code will take you directly to the repair article. Let's go to the shop and check it out. All right, today we're going to talk about the All Data Diagnostic Scan Tool. I'm going to start by plugging in the VCI device to the vehicle's OBD2 connector. Notice I have the key in my hand. I always make my connections with the key off. Once I make the connection, my VCI is going to go through a power cycle. I'm going to wait for the red power light and the blue radio light to be lit up by themselves. That will let us know that we're ready to hook up to the app. Now we're ready to go. The red power light and the blue radio light are on. Now we're ready to connect to the app. All right, we're going to start by putting the key in and turn the ignition on. Once the key is on, I'm now going to select the All Data app. Since we've already connected the VCI device to the vehicle, I'm going to connect the vehicle. Then I'm going to select the All Data Bluetooth device. And I'm going to select the correct manufacturer of the vehicle I'm working on. Notice I can sort from domestic, Asian, and European. I'm going to select Jeep. Now I'm going to get VIN screen. So I'm going to select get VIN and it's going to read the VIN number from the vehicle's engine control module. Notice the model is highlighted red. That means I need to select the correct model for this vehicle. I'm going to select Wrangler and I'm going to select next. Now I'm going to select the enhanced powertrain module. Notice I have two engine codes. If I select the engine codes, I can actually go right into all data to see the OE repair information. Notice it will include diagrams and all information provided by the manufacturer. If I go back to this screen, I can also look at my engine parameters. And I can search and select the data that I want to look at. Once I select the PID data that I want to view, I can view it in grid, graphing mode, and meter. I prefer graphing mode. Also notice I have system tests that I can run. If I need to perform a reset or minor programming like tire size programming, I can do that here. Also, I have actuator test. I can perform actuator tests on the vehicle. Also note, I have a green connected button. I can use that to switch modules. I'm going to change system. And I'm going to select the cabin compartment node and select next. Once it connects to this module, I have a lot of the same functions I had in the engine control module. I can select PID data, I can run system tests, and actuator tests. I'm going to go ahead and turn on some lights on the dashboard. If I select this button, I can perform a test of the brake light. Note that the brake light turns on and off as I hit the, hit the switch. All right, now let's take a look at some of the generic data. I'm going to select the connected button, and I'm going to hit change system again. Now I'm going to go to generic powertrain. This is going to give us different information.
Note that we still have the P0345 camshaft position sensor circuit code. That's a generic code because it's a P0. So that still shows up in this configuration also. And I can also look at limited amount of PID data. I can also look at my emission monitors. This is a good way to see if your vehicle is ready for a state emission test. Notice that one of the monitors is red. That means the fuel system is not complete yet, and it's probably going to fail in the emission test. So this vehicle is going to require some more diagnostics. Now that we're going to be done testing the vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and select the connected button. I'm going to hit disconnect and confirm. Now I'm disconnected from the vehicle. It's okay to turn the key off and disconnect the device. And by the way, we just released a new feature called Quick Scan. With a click of a button, you can ID the vehicle and perform a full system scan. Let me tell you about something that's near and dear to my heart. It's called Tech Assist. All that Tech Assist is the most advanced hotline service in the industry. And I'll tell you why. First and most important is the people. You know, the Tech Assist team is made up of seasoned diagnostic veterans with an average in-shop experience of about 22 years. Uh, all are ASE Master Techs with L1 certification. Uh, many have been automotive instructors and shop owners. Uh, these professional hotline techs are handpicked from hundreds of applicants. And, you know, we don't hire just for technical expertise. We also hire for culture. And what I mean by culture, I mean all these guys have a passion for helping people. Okay, and that's really important on a hotline service. You know, the team provides personal one-on-one -on -one diagnostic repair assistance to techs of all skill levels. They don't just read factory diagnostic trouble trees and they won't read off a list of parts to change. They'll evaluate the problem and they'll provide a solid custom diagnostic strategy that will quickly and accurately pinpoint the problem. You know, in many cases, just in four or five steps. One tool at our disposal is called Rescue Lens. It's a streaming video product that allows us to communicate with the techs in the shop via their smartphones. It puts us right there on the fender in the shop with them and we can see what they see. We know it's expensive to send techs to school. It could cost hundreds of dollars to send a tech just to a one-night class. So the Tech Assist Consultants will take the time to walk your techs through diagnostic strategies and explain exactly what they're doing on a particular test. We all know there's no better way for a tech to learn than guided, hands-on experience. Many of the diagnostic jobs your techs successfully complete will become valuable learning sessions. And what about the master techs in your shop? When you're the only master tech, who do you call to when you're stumped? Often master techs call us just to bounce ideas around with the techs on the same skill level. You know, plus, the less experienced techs can call us with questions instead of bugging the master tech. To better serve our customers, we have call centers spread across the nation. We have one in Dallas, Texas, Norcross, Georgia, and Elk Grove, California. So that means when your door is open, we're open. For more information about Tech Assist, please visit our website. Now let's go to the shop and see how Tech Assist can work for you. Let me show you how easy Rescue Lens is to use. This live streaming video is really helpful in the shop. So go, I'm gonna go ahead and call Tech Assist. Put them on speakerphone so you can hear them as well. Thank you for calling Tech Assist, this is Daniel. Hey Daniel, this is Rich. How are you doing today? Doing good, Rich, how's yourself? That's awesome, man. I got a 2015 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, with an evaporative, evaporative problem, and um, I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So can we wiring diagram up here real quick? Can we use Rescue Lens too? Of course. Awesome. Uh, let me know when you're ready for a pin, and I'll give you that, and we can get that going. Okay, hang on a second. Let me get Rescue Lens up. Okay, go ahead. Six two six eight two seven. There we go. Is connecting. So the code is for an EVAP module, so I was kind of hoping you'd show me where that is first, so okay. as soon as we get this thing going. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be awesome. Just starting up. Looks like the EVAP module should be on the passenger side fender well. Okay. So let's what see. What we're looking for is a module with a connector that has two wires. Oh, okay. I think I see it here. 
Is that it right about that. there? Like, this guy right here is going to be your connector. Okay. So in that, you should have two wires there. All right. That's awesome. So uh, let me put my phone down here a second. I'll do some testing, okay? Hold on. Okay. All right. Get my meter. And how much voltage should I have here on this? On which wire was it again? We're going to be checking for five volts on the blue wire with the white stripe. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, You're welcome. Um, I got I got zero volts. Zero volts. Okay. So we got something going on. So it looks like we're going to have to dig a little deeper. Tell you what. Let me escalate this up to our level two guys here so we can dig into this and uh, figure out the next step on this. And I'll have one of them reach out to you. Awesome. Um, That'd be excellent. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks for your help. You're welcome, Rich. Okay, take care. Let me read you a testimonial from Phil Snyder of Stouch's Auto Repair. He says, the techs are personable, knowledgeable, and realistic. I work with a tech named Billy. He was instrumental in figuring out the problem. He had equipment recommendations when we asked, and he called back to see if we needed any more help. I don't believe that any shop could do everything by themselves. Uh, it's really great to have a network you can trust. Thanks for that great information, Rich and Guy. Um, now let's go over to Q&A. It looks like we've got a couple of questions. Here's one. Um, question, how does the Tech Assist subscription work? Who wants to take it? Oh, I'll take that. Thanks, Sarah. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the Tech Assist subscription it's good for three cases per month, and um, so basically what you can do is you call in, um, you talk to our one of our uh, dispatchers. The dispatcher is an ASC master tech. He'll uh, take all the information about the vehicle and the problem you're having and offer some what we call first call resolution advice that you can go back to the car and do some testing. And then uh, you'll get a call back then from one of the ADC2s or the um, tech assist agents. And so basically, out of those three, when you, if you call back and tell us what fixed the vehicle, well, then that case gets added back onto your, your free case allotment for the month. So virtually, you could have unlimited amount of cases as long as you keep calling us back and letting us know what fixed the vehicle ultimately. We're trying to get that information into a database, so it's real important. That's why the cost of actually uh, Texas is fairly low. Interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here's, a, here's another question. Um, how long does it take for level two to call back? Uh, we try to get in within 90 minutes, typically. So on, in, inside of 90 minutes, we're trying to shoot for an hour or so, but typically within, within 90 minutes, you get a call back. Okay. And um, this is similar. What is the average call back time from Tech Assist? You mean how long does it, the calls take, typically? Um, well, you know, it depends on. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on, on the on the case, obviously, and so what they're doing. So that a lot of times we'll, we'll have a, uh, maybe a, an apprentice tech call in, um, and we'll be we'll take a little bit longer, we'll, to walk through the testing procedures, which is fine. We actually that's one of the things we love to do is be able to teach techs good diagnostic strategies, and we're willing to take the extra time, you know, just to go through a, a good diagnostic procedure with them. And, uh, and, we'll, and basically, you can call as many times as necessary until we get that car fixed. So you're not limited to one or two or three calls. You know, we stay with you until we get that car fixed. So in other words, subsequent call, calls aren't more expensive, so they don't cost extra. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Here's another. Here's another question. Um, can this system work with the recalibration of ADAS systems? For example, Toyota blind spot recalibration. I'll take that. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. So it, it really depends on the vehicle. Most of those, like, like for example, the Toyota use sophisticated original equipment to reset those. But if it's something that's available through the manufacturer through an aftermarket scan tool, then yes, it would be able to. But it's basically limited by each manufacturer. Okay. Here's one. Um, can the VCI perform system resets or calibrations? Yes, it can perform resets and calibrations. It's got to be something that's available through the manufacturer, through the scan tool. Um, if it's something that requires a 
OE scan tool or J25 or device with the manufacturer subscription, then it won't be able to do that. You'll need a separate equipment. But this can perform resets like steering angle sensors, um, seat calibrations for airbags. So, you know, as long as it's available through the manufacturer through a scan tool, then yes, they can perform resets and calibration. But it's not a program tool. Okay. So one one of our um listeners asks, if I if I don't close the fix, what is the cost if I use up to the three cases? Actually what you can do is uh we have what we call pay per use. So if you go over your three cases and you don't want to close any of them, well then we it's uh, twenty nine dollars per case after that. And again it's it doesn't there's no additional charges on that case. And we'll, as many calls it takes to close that is included. Okay. We have lots of lots more good questions coming in. Um, what is the name of the app for the video chat on the smartphone? Oh, Risky Lens. And that app, it, it downloads in about, gosh, probably 30, 40 seconds. It's really easy. It's free to the shops. And we pay for you know, license on our end to have it on our on our workstations. Yeah, it's really easy to use um, as long as you've got a smartphone or a tablet. You can download that. And then um, we give what, how it works. Based why I think we went through the video, we basically give you a PIN number, and that PIN number is unique to that particular case we're working on is that way you can go back later and, and reference that case we need to go back and get some more information. And so yeah, it's very, very easy to use and very effective too. It's like having us right there in the shop with you. It's been it's been excellent. It's been great for the guys. Is the VCI J twenty five thirty four compliant? Uh no, it's not J twenty five thirty four compliant, so it's not a programming tool. It is a scan tool. So you can perform system resets or calibrations, you know, idle resets, stuff like that. But no, it's not a J2534 device. Can the scan tool complete a static reset on ADAS? Um, that's something that usually requires specialized equipment. Very few manufacturers offer that through an aftermarket scan tool. If it's offered through an aftermarket scan tool from the manufacturer, then it would be able to. But most of those vehicles with the ADAS requires a specialized equipment. Okay, thank you. Another um, individual asks, what software platform is the scanner based on? It works on Android and Windows 10 devices or Windows service. Okay. Is the All Data Diagnostic tool included in a subscription plan? And can Tech Assist connect to the diagnostic tool to see live data? It is a subscription plan that's added to your all data account. At, at this point, we can't access the tool remote, but we can use Rescue Lens to view the data that you have. You can also take screenshots and email them to us. That way we can see the data also. But that is something we'd like to be able to do in the future is to remote into the tool to be able to help the technician with diagnostics. How can you learn more about the coverage of specific vehicle systems of the scan tool? Um, you can actually access alldatasupport.com, and there's there's a vehicle coverage list there, and also a, an overview of systems that are available. So visit the site on screen. Oh yeah, we can also set up a demo. Okay. Um, further question: Can the scan tool complete a dynamic ADAS reset? Uh, yeah, that's a that's a manufacturer specific test. Sometimes they require specialized equipment, so it really depends on what options the manufacturer have available with aftermarket scan tools. We have a lot more questions we can keep going with. Do you have an application chart for coverage? We do have on the support site, there is a list of manufacturers and systems that are covered. And what are your hours of operation? Texas is open uh, from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And on Saturday, 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday. All right, and I think we'll take just one more question and then wrap up. Someone asks, will this also work on heavy trucks? It's mostly the light-duty vehicles. Additional software will be required for heavy-duty vehicles. <laughs> Do either of you have anything else to add? No, I think that's it. Okay, great. Um, well, thank you so much to you both, Guy and Rich, for the presentation and for answering so many questions. Um, you two have done an outstanding job uh, t just talking about the technical information in an easy-to-digest manner. 
Um, and if anyone has any additional questions, the information to contact All Data is on the slide. Our time is thank up you. for today, but I, but I would like to thank everyone for taking the time to participate in the diagnostic discussion with All Data webinar brought to you by All Data. Um, All, All Data is an online source for automotive OEM information, and All Data provides vehicle manufacturers diagnostic and repair information for today's automotive repair pros. Um, have a great noon, everybody.